Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho of Vancouver. This video is my objective review and experiences of rejuvenation with my modernized and medically oriented practice of Tai Chi and meditation. Please look at the picture on the left. That shows two objective results. First, from 2015 till now, 2018, when I am 72 years old, I do not need to wear glasses anymore for my presbyopia, which had to be corrected with glasses since I was in my late 40s. Up till now, 2018, I do not need to wear any glasses to read, write, drive, and use my small 2x5 inch cell phone. And this is the report substantiated by the optometrist Dr. F. Saber's clinical records. This 2017 report shows that I do not need glasses. The second sign is that my chin wrinkles are becoming less and less noticeable. This next sign is one of the three rejuvenation signs according to Master Huai Jin Nan. These three signs will be further explained later in this video. My aforementioned modernized and medically oriented Tai Chi and meditation practice is based on the teaching of Master Huai Jin Nan. As a Chan master, he was regarded as one of the most influential Chan Buddhist teachers. Some of these modernized methods have been published in Amazon.ca since May 2018. As Kindle ebooks and paperback like this one, Treadmill Ram Tai Chi is the application of the principle of Tai Chi into walking. It can strengthen the kidneys and help lose weight. Dolphin Intent Tai Chi can be taught in one lesson. It is effective for posture correction and voice enhancement. It reduces belly fat. It helps depression patients sleep better. It is especially effective for their recovery. When practiced together with treadmill Ram Tai Chi with the six healing songs. According to Master Nam, the six healing songs should be pronounced in Cantonese. Practice in silence as a form of breathing. I have several videos in my YouTube channel. After a long period of practicing Iyengar's yoga, I have found that stomach discomfort caused by acid indigestion can be cured by doing just the shoulder pose alone. The benefit is nearly instant according to some clinical results. Details are in the YouTube videos available in English and Chinese. This is the thumbnail pictures and the title and the Chinese version has 49,000 views. The rest of this video is from my YouTube playlist, Rejuvenation by Dr. Cho Cho. It has 31 video. This is the first of the series of movie teaching people how to keep young and even to rejuvenate. Please read the disclaimer. In my Smart Knee Care movie, I have talked about uh, using the tennis serve as an example of practicing a mixed form of Tai Chi power, mixing the Ji form and the Li form of Tai Chi power. Now let's go back to the rules to rejuvenate. Um, now there are many books uh, regarding the ways to rejuvenate, but this one I can use as an example. Younger Next Year is a very popular book written by Dr. Henry Lodge and his patient, Mr. Chris Crawley. Uh, Mr. Chris Crawley is in his early 70s now. He uses skiing as the exercise to rejuvenate himself. And um, there are other ways I'm showing you using tennis. And uh, the, the, the rules that they uh, stipulate in the book is that exercise six days a week. 
and do serious aerobic exercise four days a week and do serious strength training with weight two days a week spend less than you make um, and then quit eating crap like bad bad food food not good for you connect and commit have very good uh, personal relationship and I would like to add that um, if you want to rejuvenate you should practice slow breathing meditation with at least one pose I use a single lotus pose for at least 10 minutes a day now this is the basis of many advanced techniques from ancient China now instead of using skiing as uh, Chris call it I use tennis for my fun rejuvenation exercise tennis can be practiced whole year round and it's a lot cheaper than skiing now let's look at my serve a good first serve just hit the service box and then the ball hit the fence without touching the ground at all that's a very good first serve with very good power uh, the movie here shows uh, that kind of powerful first serve this is very good for power training for the body now according to Dr. Lodge besides tennis uh, skiing yoga is good enough for weight training too now and I have found that uh, you can do the serve practice especially the first serve practice as a combination of weight as well as aerobic training in order to qualify for aerobic training your heart rate has to be within 65% to 79% of your maximum heart rate your maximum heart rate is 220 minus your age for instance if you are 20 years old 200 minus 20 will be 20 20 minus 20 will be uh, 200 and then 65 percent is 130 according to the chart and you know, on the thing this episode on rejuvenation shows you how to combine anaerobic training and Cantonese opera singing uh, as a fun way to acquire fitness and the down ten. In the first episode, the, the tennis serve is rather difficult to master, but in this episode, anaerobic training with tennis stroking is a lot easier. Anaerobic respiration means the heart rate is over 80 to 85 percent of your maximum heart rate. Why should one exercise in an aerobic condition? It is a fundamental law of nature called form follows function. When the body tries to perform a harder function by exercising in an anaerobic condition, the oxygen depth created by this stress on the body, because you don't have enough oxygen, stimulate more growth of the body structures like more capillary to help circulation and more cellular mitochondria to generate more power for the body. This is how exercising in an anaerobic condition help rejuvenation. The abdominal dantian cultivated in Zen meditation can be strengthened by Tai Chi as well as in Chinese opera singing. A form of anaerobic restoration called Bao Ping Qi in Zen meditation has been popularized by Master Huai Jin Nan. I'm very lucky that um, an American professor, Professor Ralph Lorenz of Kent University, he found my researches into the Dantian singing and rejuvenation very interesting and gave me a letter 
I am reading part of the letter by Professor Lorenz. Dr. Ho has a quite pleasant singing voice, and I believe that the research he is embarking upon has great potential in the area of rejuvenation through a new and reinforced reflex powered by the Dantian singing. The connection between diaphragmatic breathing in classical music singing and Dantian practice of Cantonese opera and Qigong are worthy of further study. I wholeheartedly endorse Dr. Ho's expertise and research in these matters as I believe there could be many health benefits for society based on this research. Please feel free to contact me should you have any questions. Sincerely, Professor Ralph Lorenz. The following clip shows you how to combine singing, Dantian or ordinary singing, with anaerobic training. You have to find a way to see your heart rate. I use a heart rate monitor. The black bell I'm wearing on my chest is the heart rate monitor. If you do not have a ball machine, find a partner to feed you balls. Hit for about one to two minutes uh, in anaerobic uh, training, and two or three of you can take turn to go into short bursts of this kind of anaerobic training. Do not worry about whether the balls are in or out. Just practice your form and the anaerobic training. A total of seven minutes of anaerobic training intermittently combined with aerobic training is the minimum effective time for this practice. If you do not feel any muscle pain the next day, you can train longer. The tennis is more practical than traditional Tai Chi weapon training, which has no practical value now. I have a playlist with 22 videos on practical Tai Chi tennis in my YouTube channel. It is called Practical Tai Chi Tennis and Tai Chi Go Modernize Tai Chi into a form of integrated mind body training. I'm interpreting Master Huai Jin Nan's breathing technique called Anna Pana. Anna is breathing out and Pana is breathing in. In the Nan Chan Seven Day Seminar, Master Nam told us the shortcut to enlightenment that Buddha taught is only Sun Ru Fu La. The link of the original movie is in the link down below. The details are in this link with English subtitle, and you might have to activate it by pressing the on screen CC button. According to Master Nam, Buddha told Ruhala and three other Lo Han to stay on earth, they are still alive. They are staying alive to wait for the coming of another Buddha. They might have achieved longevity by activating their the Kundalini with so Anapana. Practicing Master Nam's Anapana can be summarized by two guidelines, and according to my own experiences, uh, they help me enter the state of Ding or Samadhi in Sanskrit. The first guideline is Su Ting Si which means after following the breathing out phase and the breathing in phase, casually observe the pause of breathing in between the two phases. According to my own experiences, this casual observation of this breathing cessation can be helped by counting the number of pulses you feel anywhere in your body. I usually feel them in my legs. If you can do this casual observation without being disturbed, it is counted as one good one. If your fundamental Kung Fu is good enough, then you will enter the state of Ding or Samadhi in after five to six. Good count. Then you can explore this new state of consciousness on your own with the second principle of Anapana called Sui Si, which means you feel the breathing as Si Chang Chi Chang, Si Duan Chi Duan, Si Long Chi Long, Si Lu Chi Lu. This literally means that you know the cessation of breathing is long or short, hot or cold. If you cannot get five or six kind of good casual observation of breathing cessation, or cannot even sit comfortably without feeling ache and pain of the leg and the spine, my advice for you is to refine your basic Kung Fu, which I have summarized as the cranial sacral postural reflex of Tai Chi. And this concept has been published in the April 
2014 issue of Tai Chi magazine and then I it is available in Amazon.ca as Kindle book, The Benefit of Tai Chi for the Spine. If you can enter the new state of consciousness of Ding, you can explore this new territory of consciousness. I can describe it as the hypnagogic state, the state immediately before falling asleep, a state of conscious sleep. Master Nen named this as Wu Ji Shi. Wu means alive and Ji Shi is the two hour period before and after 12 midnight, the yin turning into the yang, the time of rejuvenation. In the Nan Chan seminar, Master Na also taught the participant how to use the Dan Chen Qi to recite the diamond mantra in order to break open the central meridian. From my research, the Dan Chen is a set of muscle that we all have. It can be acquired by training the muscle. Please go to see my movie, a supplemental movie, to my first article of my Dante and Ming Man series. It is available in Amazon.ca as a Kindle book, The Dante's Anatomy and Function Explained Medically. It is like the voice that we all have. However, if you want to sing beautifully, you have to get good training. Regarding the three conditions of rejuvenation mentioned at the beginning of the video, when practicing sitting meditation, do not cross the leg as shown in the Kundalini picture on the left. Doing the single lotus like the other two pictures on the right is okay because a good lotus pose should erect the pelvis as the spine's balancing space. If you cross the leg as the Kundalini pictures, the top of the pelvis is pushed posterior backward. Sitting on a chair in the Confucian scholar manner is also okay. As shown in Master Sun Lu Tang's pictures, Master Sun is one of the few Tai Chi masters who have attained enlightenment in a Taoist fashion, similar to some of the Taoist immortals like Sun Bu Er and Lu Dong. Ben, details of these three cases are in the video. Two proven ways to become enlightened, Sun Lu Tang and Sun Bu Er. The second condition is not carrying excessive belly fat, as shown in the figure. Any accomplished Taoist like this 256-year-old man who has accomplished longevity is always thin because of the Taoist lifestyle. The third condition demonstrates the sophistication of the cranial sign of the cranial sacral postural reflex called Ding to Shen, meaning the head as light as if it was hanging in the air. Further details are in this book in Amazon.ca, The Benefit of Tai Chi for the Spine. I have published over 10 books about Tai Chi and meditation so far, and each book has an accompanying YouTube video, and the name of the playlist is Chan Walking Can Enhance the Function of the Kidneys. This is the name of the rejuvenation playlist on YouTube, Rejuvenation 1 by Dr. George Ho. Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho. This concludes the movie, and if you like this movie, Please click like and please share it with your friends in other media like the Facebook. And it would really motivate me to make more movies like this if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dr. George. Subscription is totally free.